What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new to my channel, thank you for showing up. My name is Ryan and for those of you who have been here for some time, <gasps> thank you for coming back. I had to breathe. I, I say it too fast. But um, today we're going to have another Chevy Avalanche question for the group. So guys, jump in in the comment section if you can. Leave something down there. Let us know what you guys think to help this viewer out. His name is Angel. Angel Nieves or Knives, however you say it, I apologize if I butchered it, but um, hopefully I said it correctly. Um, he said, I saw many of your videos and it's clear you like avalanches like me. Yes, I do. I have a 2007 Chevy Avalanche Flex Fuel with 180,000 miles. Wow. I have problems with it starting. Always cranks, but doesn't start. The truck works fine for a few days, and then one day it does not work, and then two days later it starts fine, and then when it does not start, I don't hear the fuel pump. So I assume it's the fuel pump. So I change that, and I still have the same problem. Today I changed the ignition switch, and I still have the same problem. Can you help me out? Any idea of what to check? I changed the relay for the fuel pump and the ignition, checked all the fuses, everything looks right. I've had the truck for about six months, and the problem is getting worse. At the beginning, it does not start like one. It does not start like it used to. Um, and then one month, and then hold on. It at the beginning, it does not start like once a month. Then twice a month, then three days to a month, and now it's almost every week. So I cannot use the truck because I don't know if it'll work. So please help. All right, Angel. So I did ask one of my friends, his name is Craig, and he was kind enough to answer me on Instagram, give a little general ideas. But before we say what he has given me, because I really haven't fully looked at it yet, um, but I'm not sure if the 07 Avalanches have the two ground wires by the driver's door on the frame where mine was and then I rerouted it up to the engine bay. If you haven't seen that video, I'll leave it up here. I'm not sure if the 07s have them, but if they do, all you gotta do is just open, uh, just get down on the floor, check by the driver's door frame rail and see if there's two wires grounded to the frame. Um, believe it or not, one of those wires, if you actually just disconnect it, the truck won't start. I believe there's a possibility depending on where you're located or if your truck has some rust on the frame that that could be causing an intermittent issue. Remove the ground wires if they're there, scrub it off, put it back on, see if the truck gives you a problem. That's just my two cents on that. Um, like I said, I'm not 100% sure if you guys have the ground wires there on the frame. But um, anyway, this is what my friend put down for me. So the condition is some customers may experience a no start condition and a loss of a low speed communications at time. This concern is often accompanied by several communication codes in several modules. You have, I, did you even get a code? If you did, tell me what codes you got in the comment section below. Um, this cause may be con this concern may be caused by the wire harness under the passenger seat being pinched between the passenger seat rack and the rear view camera module. I have no idea where that's located, but it just told you under passenger seat. Um, if the wire harness is found to be pinched in a specific area, the technician should repair the wire harness as needed and route the harness to the side of the rear view camera module, and then use a zip tie to properly secure the harness in its place. Any After any repair, cycle the uh, front passenger seat forward and back and make sure that the harness has proper clearance. So, okay, that's something that you can try, man. Um, Angel, just look under the passenger seat, see if you see any wires that are pinched. Um, feel around with your hands, see if anything is stuck. If it is, move it out the way, zip tie them together. Obviously, if the wire is cut, put some electrical tape, repair it. Um, if there's a severed wire, cut, crimp, repair it, and put some electrical tape or solder and heat shrink. You know, do it right. And, um, Hopefully that fixes whatever issues you have. It seems like a really intermittent issue, so uh, either look at what I was saying or look for what my friend Craig said. You know, just check the avalanche and the, under the passenger seat and make sure that nothing's crimped, man. So I hope that helps. Guys, if you have any idea or if you guys ran into this problem and recently fixed it, leave it in the comment section below. Let's help Angel out. Much appreciated, guys. With that being said, I'll see y'all for the next one. Peace.